going to do a, um, a knee bar. So most of you guys, we'll get into this one later on. We're doing the back step and everything else, which gets us into the honey hole. But another one I, that I've pretty much used since I was a white belt, there was a match, an ACC match back to me with Dean Lister, where he hit, I think he hit this on Salo um, to win. Back in the day, like he, he won the, the Open Championships at ACC. I could be wrong about that, but he won a match doing this knee bar. And so basically, you're in a half guard. And if you think about what happens in the half guard, the person's trying to stay up, right? They're trying to come up into you. And so typically what ends up happening is, is if you push back into them, and he's going to push back into you, he sort of loads forward, so it's like almost like loading a spring. So we do this we do this control in our gym already, where we get that wrist and back of the arm control. So we're keeping that arm down here. So we're pushing down, trying to smash him, and then that person starts to push back. Now again, I'm not leaning on the person, because then they can sweep about a giggle under me, but I'm pushing here. And then what ends up happening a lot of times is people are trying to stay up on your side, and when you let go, pushing into it, boom, he's gonna go down. Now, at the same time, all we're gonna do is just lean onto the knee so we can take the weight off of this leg, and you're gonna step over, hook. We're gonna slide right into the knee bar here. Okay, when we get into the knee bar, we'll go over some of the basic finishes. We'll do two uh, basic options here. When we get down, we'll come to the side. Ideally, we'd like to have that kneecap facing us straight on right there. There's options if it's not. From here, uh, the first one, first finish, I'm gonna place the toe next to my ear on this side of my head. If I go over here, he can, like if I do this for instance, he could easily kick off using this foot here, okay? There will be a time where we might do this, which we'll talk about in a second, but for the first one, ear right here on the big toe. I'm gonna grab his heel and essentially get like a figure four lock, pinching my knees together, curling my heels down. I'm gonna roll back. I don't wanna sort of extend here. It doesn't really work very well. I wanna roll back to the ceiling just a little bit so now I can press off of my hip going up. It also tightens the knee up. Like Matt probably feels a difference for from here versus if I roll back, right? Gets a little tighter, right Matt? Yeah. So right there. The other one that you can do, and you could do this from either side, but we're gonna go in, reach back here, and put it behind us. And again, this can give us, if you ever get someone that's really flexible um, with their knees and they can like hyperextend a little bit, which happens sometimes, <coughs> this one sometimes works better. Hip into it, okay. So from here, we're in position in half guard. They don't have the knee shield up, by the way. The knee shield will get in the way of this, so we would have to get past the knee shield first. But we're here, we're pushing into him, keeping our base low. As he starts to go forward, we lean, step, over, hook, and we're gonna grab. And then again, when we get down here, we'll get to the position, placing that big toe next to our ear, grab the heel, finish, or behind the armpit. And when I grab as early as possible, I want to grab the heel. We'll talk about when we do the defense to it, why you don't want to grab here, because you can figure for it. So as soon as you're coming over top, we want to get a bite on the heel, because this is harder for him to figure for. And also, if you think about leverage wise, like let's say if I go here and he uses his hamstring to pull down, like it's hard, it's just, this is a lot tougher for him biceps to, to stop, right? If I go up to here, pull your hamstring, use your hamstring, it's very hard, I get more leverage here. I can fall down to the position. Okay. There's, a There's a lot of different defenses, but the most common one you'll see a lot of times is getting some sort of figure four lock on your knee, okay? So from here. Oh, what's up, Pointer? I was like, I saw, I saw Greg grin and I was like, I was like, something just happened behind me. I was like, <laughs> Pointer's here. All right, good to see you, buddy. Why did you distract the yeah, that's, that's right. All right, so I'm spring-loaded here, and again, when you guys practice this, just a little pro tip, I can always put a blocking hand up here just in case for my face. Um, it's good even to block against, against cross faces. So we're here, he pushes me back, throws his leg over top, boom. As, freeze. as soon as I feel this, as there's no question in my mind what he's going for, so I'm gonna immediately put a figure four lock up on top of it right here, okay? And it's, you know, depending on what happens, if he sits all the way back to the side, like goes to the side right here, like this, this is ideal because it, it's pretty easy for me to start coming up. For me, again, Jeff might have something to add to because I know he plays leg locks, and so if you've got something to throw into the mix, uh, feel free to. Um, but I like to try to get this knee down to the mat here and then get a good cross face. And this has happened several times in matches. There was one competition I had, it was actually a D competition where the dude had, he had it, it was like at the end of the match, I was up by like two points. I was here, he was extending, and it was basically me hanging on for about a minute until eventually he stopped and I was able to get the cross face. But I mean, that figure four is important. And if we can get this knee here, we can begin to cross face and extend out of here. 
Well, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna let go. Well, my, my hands are stuck. Okay. You think it always let go. I admit to you that. That's the new submission. I call it chew off. All right, so I just, I just invented it. You guys are watching. I'm, I'm a regular Thomas Edison. So from here. So we can extend out and get the cross face, assuming his hands aren't locked. And then for some of you guys that like that truck roll we do, it's also a great place to switch off into it right here. Okay, so if you guys want to add that into the mix, you can. Okay, so let's look at it again. We load it up here. He pushes me up, spring loads me, throws the leg over top. I'm switching over as soon as it happens. I'm trying to work my way up if I can. Okay, so I get him coming up to his hand and I'm pushing, pushing, and then trying to get my knees down. Once my knees are down, I'm pretty much out of this. And then from here, if I can get the cross face, I can get down and sprawl my hips out and keep them away uh, from the knees. And then I'm going to clear out. Okay. Um, that's a really basic one, especially when they go for that knee bar and they sit back really fast. You've got to make sure that you figure four as soon as it happens. Mm -hmm.